I'm Mark Bowie, and I'm a co-investigator of the New Horizons mission and longtime studier of Pluto. I love Pluto because it's a cold place where you've got physical processes that are completely alien here on the Earth. Just think of it. Nitrogen, stuff we breathe in and out in our atmosphere, is a frost that moves around and sublimates and moves to somewhere else. And uh, maybe even the atmosphere goes away part of the year. It just sparks my imagination to think of this alien world in our solar system. I fell in love with Pluto and studying Pluto in early in graduate school. And the thing that drew me to it the most was the fact that we knew so little. Here's the frontier. Here's places that we had know about in the solar system that, you know, we do very, very little at the time. And I thought, you know, this would make a great topic of research for my career. And uh, once I started working on it, I just couldn't put it down. The Pluto maps that I've generated with the Hubble Space Telescope is probably one of the hardest tasks that I've ever undertaken, especially with computers of the time. I still had to build a cluster of 20 machines and they ran for four years nonstop. It was a lot of detective work to uh, disentangle this uh, barely resolved data from the Hubble Space Telescope to get these maps. These maps show an amazing array of brightness. And we see very, very dark regions on the surface. We see very bright regions on the surface. There aren't very many places in the solar system where we see this sort of thing. There are localized regions on the surface that are very dark, but right next to it is also the brightest region, and then it goes back to dark. So it's a very modeled, complex surface. One by one, over the decades, I've been chipping away at these fundamental questions and it's just now starting to all gel, just as we're about ready to get there with New Horizons, that we can start to answer these big questions. I could imagine, you know, leading a tour group, you know, get on your spaceship and fly out to Pluto, go into orbit around and you look and you look down over there, you see the satellite of Pluto, the biggest one there. It's kind of intermediate in brightness. It's brighter than the Earth's moon, and it's covered in water ice. Then you look over at Pluto, and you see these bright, dazzling bright frosts and snow on the surface. And they're maybe slightly orangish in, uh, in hue because of the methane that's, that's there on the surface. Right next to it, you're going to have black regions. And the contrast to your eye is going to be quite dazzling. You're going to see the history of, of Pluto unfolded before you. I'm Mark Bowie, and I'm a Plutophile because I love the wilderness. I love the frontiers of exploration and discovering new things where people haven't known anything before.